It's supposed, it's supposed to be some salt somewhere. Okay, good. So we have the song, please. Aujourd'hui, Sunrise fait à nouveau un grand pas en avant en étant le premier à lancer la 5G en Suisse. I'm thrilled to be part of this adventure. Et je me réjouis encore plus de pouvoir rentrer chez moi et d'utiliser la 5G. Je me réjouis d'être un teil de votre site et je me réjouis d'être un teil de votre site et je me réjouis d'être un teil de votre site. So that was back in April, basically, with the launch. The important thing for us from a network standpoint was to have an authentic message. One of the big concerns we had was to overpromise and that people could actually not find any 5G coverage. So at launch, we had what we call 173 cities or villages covered. And by city and village, what I mean is basically it could be anything like uh, a city of 30,000 uh, inhabitants to a few hundred. One of the rules we have in terms of the way we announce our coverage on 5G is we do not say a city is covered if we have less than 80% of outdoor population coverage. So if we have two antennas in Zurich, we do not claim Zurich is covered. So it's real coverage. And we have two use cases. The first one, the first one uh, was fixed line replacement. Okay? The, the picture here, the, the two persons you have in the middle are Mr. and Mrs. Zimmerli. You may know, you probably have never heard of Mr. and Mrs. Zimmerli, but they are the first 5G commercial customers in Europe. And when you look at them, I know the picture is a bit small, when you look at them, they probably do not come across as early adopters. Still, they are for us typical of one of the main use cases of 5G. These people, they live in a, in a suburban, suburban area, not very far from a city, but they've been saddled with speeds on internet of less than 10 megabit per second for years. And with 5G, we've been able to deliver to them a speed of several hundred megabit per second consistently and reliably. And for Mr. Zimeli, I mean, there's been a number of interviews in the Swiss press, it changes his life. Huh? It was like uh, a, new, a new upcoming. So that's for us the first, the first use case and the main use case for 5G for the people. It's not about driverless cars, it's not about VR, all of these kind of things. To say we have a number of areas in Switzerland, typically 50% of the households who have low speed and we want to bring fiber optic speeds to them thanks to 5G. The second use case is smartphones, basically. And uh, at the beginning of May, we announced the, the, the launch of the first Xiaomi 5G phone and the first Huawei 5G uh, smartphone, basically, available from the beginning of May. And here, the proposition is very different. So if you look at the summary of our proposition, it's more Back to what I was explaining about Sunrise, where we have no contract, we pride ourselves on the quality. Anybody is eligible to have a 5G plan, you just need to buy an option. It's 10 francs a month, and there is no string attached. So you are not tied up to anything. And you can buy the device, obviously, from Sunrise, but we are very comfortable if you decide to bring your own device. Our experience in the, in the first few weeks of 5G is really important that customers do not feel forced or coerced into spending more, buying a device they may not like, and clearly uh, not being sure of the benefits. So we've had this approach which is very soft, which is, you know what, take an option, test it for yourself. What is very interesting in terms of the first feedback, I mean, initially, my sales guy, their, their, their typical pushback was, Bruno, nobody needs 5G, okay? You watch Netflix on your smartphone, you're not gonna watch Netflix faster, it's, there's no benefit for the customer. And I understand that. But our view and, and the feedback we've had from customers is slightly different. It's like from my personal experience with contactless, contactless cards. When I was told about contactless card, I said, well, I'm very happy to do my four digit or six digit code, and that's fine. But once you've tried it, you don't go back. You know, 
once you are experiencing that you know the website you're connecting to is no longer five seconds but it's one second to open you don't go back when you have the comfort of the speed you don't go back so we really believe on a smartphone it's all about making sure that people are very comfortable to try to use it and be comfortable with our proposition however we fundamentally believe that quality has a price so that's why we are very comfortable about the fact that we are charging a premium on 5G, which is 10 francs a month. It's not that much, but it's quite expensive. I mean, Switzerland, everything is expensive. I need to bring to, bring to life the, 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 the 10 francs a month. 10 francs a month is basically two double espresso huh, at Starbucks, so it's not that much. But we think that it's really worth, basically, uh, the, the premium we're offering. So that's where we are. As I said, I think the key message for us is really Yes, there is a lot of futuristic uh, applications like uh, uh, manufacturing, driverless cars, IoT and all of that, and I'm sure one day they will come. But we believe that now, 2019, there are already a lot of commercial opportunities for consumers. The, the fixed line replacement is a no-brainer for us. We have so many areas in Switzerland which are very low DSL speed that we have a great opportunity. And the second one is really uh, improving the experience on 5G on smartphone. Thank you.